Hey, it's Ghost Kitten here, coming at you live with another short video. And in this video series, we are going to be talking about streaming tutorials and how to get your stream up and running and streaming successfully using Streamlabs streaming tutorials. I will be your streaming advisor. My name is Ghost Kitten. <laughs> Now, streaming can be pretty difficult for a lot of people. A lot of people don't know how to get their foot in the door. And a lot of people struggle with figuring out how to get their stream running correctly. And so many people ask this question of, why is my stream so laggy? What can I do to fix this? Every time I stream something, you know, my game starts lagging and then people can see me lagging on stream or every time I play the game on my computer you know it doesn't lag but then when I start streaming it starts lagging and people notice the lag and latency in my stream and people can't watch a stream that's really really laggy you want to have a good quality stream great production value so I am going to give you this secret to fixing your stream so you don't have this lag issue. One of the things you must be able to do is running Streamlabs in Administrator. So what you do to run Streamlabs in Administrator is you right click Streamlabs, let's see, see here, you right click Streamlabs and click run as administrator doing this will allow your stream to run in administrator mode that way it reduces the cost and the toll streaming takes on your computer Another thing to help reduce the lag in your computer or the latency in your computer is simply if you go into output, right? We want to set our output correctly. So what you would do is you would go to output, click hardware NVNC. To set your hardware encoder correctly, make sure your bitrate is no more than 2500. Now, what that does is it allows the, some of the load of encoding your stream happen on your GPU. GPU has so much more, so much resource, right? And you want to save your CPU for something else. You know, the more alerts and notifications and things you have on your stream will also take a toll on your CPU and RAM. So, you want to use the, if you have NVIDIA, use the NVIDIA encoder in your Streamlabs. That way, all the coding gets done on your graphics card instead. If you have uh, AMD, you may not have this option, so software encoder will do just fine as well. Make sure your bitrate is no more than 2,500. Having a high bitrate will cause some stuttering in your stream. Make sure you set your bitrate correctly because that drastically affects your stream. If you set it too low, the bitrate, your quality of stream will look really bad. It'll look very pixely. So you, a, a good uh, 2,500 sounds like a good middle balance for me at least. So the next setting you need to set is in the advanced tab. We want to scroll all the way, all the way down to where it says dynamically change bitrate when dropping frames. You want to always have that checked off. Okay, what that will do for your stream is if you're streaming and I don't know, your, your internet starts to drop off a little bit this will allow you to have the bitrate slowly lowered 
so that way you don't lose any frames. This prevents you from losing any frames whatsoever. So when your internet starts to lag a little bit, it will drop the bitrate just slightly till your internet picks back up and then it will bring it back at the 2500 default we just set before. And this will stop any stream stuttering from happening. If you follow these settings exactly the way I gave you, there will be no issues with streaming. So I do hope that this tutorial was helpful because my goal is to make sure as your Streamlabs advisor that I give you the best tips and tutorials possible. I also use uh, Streamlabs Prime, which leads us to a great segue to our sponsor, Streamlabs Prime. With Streamlabs Prime, you can get themes, apps, creator sites, and so much more. Endorsed by your favorite streamers, streamers like you. Other streaming platforms also at the bottom description. If you want to see more tutorials or if you have any questions about streaming, feel free to ask me. The link to my Twitch is down below. Anything that you guys need, I will be here to help you. So definitely check out my other videos. And I'll see you around next time.